Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're gonna do now problem 4.57, okay? It says, determine the moment of this force F about an axis extending between point A and point C. So basically, we got this axis that's coming from A to C and we need to find what this force is doing about that axis, okay? So this is our system, we basically have four feet going to the x direction, we got three feet going in the y direction, and we got two feet going down, okay? So in order to find a moment about an axis, what we need to do, so a moment about, for example, a, a axis AC is going to be the unit vector of my axis, so unit vector I have uh, of the axis AC, dot product of my cross product of the um, distance, which is going to be uh, the distance between A and B, so vector AB, and I set the cross product between the force, okay? So they're giving us the force in Cartesian vectors already, so what we need to do is find the unit vectors AC and the vector AB, okay? so. Let us start by doing the vector AB. So we know that AB is going to be B minus A. And since A is the origin, all coordinates are gonna be B minus A. So it's gonna be B minus zero all the time. So in the X direction, we have four feet. So we got four in the X direction. Then we got three feet in the I, uh, in the j direction, and then we got minus 2, negative 2 in the z direction or in the k direction, okay? And all these guys are in fit, okay? Now, so we're good with vector AB. Now we need to find the unit vector AC, okay? So in order to do the unit vector AC, we need to find vector AC. So we need to find vector AC divided by its magnitude, so magnitude of vector AC, okay? And AC is going to be C minus A, so we have four feet in the X direction, three feet in the Y direction, and we got nothing in the Z direction because Z stops right at this point, okay? So we got four feet in the I direction, not in the J, in the I direction, and we got three feet in the J direction, all this divided by the magnitude. And since this is a 3, 4, its magnitude is going to be 5, like a 3, 4, 5 triangle, okay? So this is going to be divided by 5, and if we split this guy up, we got 4 over 5 in the i direction, plus 3 over 5 in the j direction, okay? Now, we can start doing our moment. So in order to do our moment about our axis AC is going to be equal to, so we do, so first we need our unit vector AC, so we have 4 over 5 for the value of my I direction, I got 3 over 5 for the value of my Y direction, and then I got 0 for the value of my Z direction, okay? Now, uh, next one is my vector AB, so the distance, so I have 4 for my I direction, I got 3, and then I got negative 2. Last will be the force, which is described by the problem, and then we have 4 in the I direction, 12 in the J direction, and negative 3 in the K direction, okay? So this is going to give me the magnitude. It's not going to give it to me into the ijk components, okay? So if we do this, this is going to be equal to, so we do the same. We hide our column and our row, and then after that we multiply by the number that it's in both row and columns, okay? So the moment, on the axis AC is going to be 
So if we hide that this column and this row, we'll have 3 multiplied by negative 3. That gives me negative 9 minus 12 minus 2. That gives me negative 24. And since it's negative, it will become 20, positive 24. And this is with respect to the 4 over 5. So we are going to multiply it by 4 over 5. Then we do minus because we have to do the J component. So if we hide this column and this row, we're going to do 4 multiplied by negative 3. That gives me negative 12. Minus 4 multiplied by negative 2. And that gives me uh, negative 8. So I'm going to do plus 8 because minus and minus give me positive. And then we're going to multiply it by our axis, which is 3 over 5. And then I'm not going to do this one because after I do my cross multiplication and then we subtract to the other one. And then after that, we need to multiply it by the amount that my axis has, which is 0 in this case. Okay. So if we do this, this is going to be equal to, let's check that out. So we got negative 9 plus 24. And we multiply that by 4 over 5. And that gives me 12. Then we're going to do minus. And let's see what do we get in here. So we get negative 12 plus 8. That's negative 4. Multiply by 3 divided by 5. That gives me plus. So since we have this minus and this number is negative, it will become positive. 2.4 and this gives me 14.4 pounds per feet okay now this problem asks specifically in Cartesian form okay so if we if this is the magnitude actually I forgot this since this is the magnitude and we want to represent moment the moment in Cartesian vector so what we know is that moment is going to be equal to in Cartesian form it's going to be its magnitude multiplied by the unit vector of the axis okay but we already have this guy which is over here so all we need to do is multiply 14.4 multiplied by each one of these guys. So we got 14.4 multiplied by 4 over 5 and that will give me 11.52 in the i direction plus 14.4 multiplied by my 3 over 5. So it's going to be for 14.4 multiplied by 3 over 5 and that gives me 8.64 in the j direction and all these guys are in pound per feet okay and this is my answer thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments please just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.